The uh, original title of my talk is uh, Transcendental Meditation with the Mufang Clan. And um, later I discovered there's not actually going to be any Mufang in my talk, so I apologize for that. The real topic is three discoveries in multiplying Trigentidionian bases and an application for them. Um, the application is a game. My friend uh, Rachel did beautiful artwork for my, for my board game, and I can show you a piece of it here. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of that. There's 32 bases in the Trigentidionian system. I'll show you more about that later. And so the name of each cell is like B, C, X, Y, A, X, Y, B, and it shows you what you get when you multiply by one of the single letter bases, you move to another, you move to another cell. And the goal is to get from start to finish. The idea is to uh, make something a little more interesting out of Candyland. Instead of an integer sequence or whole numbers getting you from start to finish, in these you're multiplying by these bases. And uh, for demonstrating here, I've got a, uh, I learned a little bit of JavaScript. And I'm going to show you a, well, I don't have to be at that mic, that's right. Um, show you a simulation of uh, how things work. We're starting at cell one, let's multiply by D. And D replaces one, and so our new place is named D. Oh, and, and this, the, the bases are named A, B, C, D, E, and our goal is to get from one to A, B, C, D, E. Multiply by E, it tags onto the end. My multiplication is always left to right. Now when I multiply by B, I'm going to have a problem. B at the end is in the wrong order. So it needs to leapfrog the E and leapfrog the D. And every time it leapfrogs, it adds a minus sign to the front. So now I'm at B, C, D. Um, I need a C in there, so let's play the C. It's also going to leapfrog two letters and uh, create two minuses, and the two minuses will cancel. I'm hoping an A is going to come up next. It didn't. Uh, <laughs> But I've got a D. Let's play a D. Now, we get the problem that there's going to be two Ds in here. We leapfrog once, and that generates a minus. And then the two Ds annihilate, and they create a minus. We haven't had anything really go negative yet, so I'm going to play an E. And uh, when that annihilates, it creates one minus, and so now we have a, a negative position. We're not getting very close to our goal. Um, <laughs> Let's add a D onto the end and say that's enough of that. Then, oh, there's the A, there's the A. Um, okay. A has to leapfrog one, two, three times. That'll be a net minus, and there was already a minus, so this will go positive. A, B, C, D, and if an E comes up, we win. And we got another B. Anyway, so uh, that's, that's the game. And um, my three discoveries are um, the annihilating leapfrog identity, the letter gap symmetry, and multiplying by dissociate then fix. Um, what I just showed you was the annihilating leapfrog identity. Oh, here's the, here's the tiny little summary. When I s keep saying this word trigentiduonian, uh, there's a sequence of complex number spaces that starts with real numbers and goes complex. Then the quaternions, which are four-dimensional. The octonians are eight-dimensional. Sidenians, trigentidonians are 32 dimensions in which one dimension is real, and all the others, which are the ones that are made out of letters, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, uh, those are all imaginary. So if you multiply any of those by themselves, they annihilate and produce a minus one. And in this talk, I'm writing the bases A, B, C, D, E. So uh, the only real number in here is one. Uh, make a duplicate of that one and add an A, and we get the complex numbers. Most people call it I, I'm calling it A. Uh, to get the quaternions, we duplicate those and add a B. So B and AB get added. Hamilton called them I, J, and K. I'm calling them AB and AB. The octonians, we duplicate and add a C. Sidenians, we duplicate and add a D. And for the trigentidionians, we duplicate them all and add an E. And so I've listed all uh, 32 of them there. Now, if you take those along with their negatives, you get a set of 64 that are closed under multiplication. And that's actually where the game 
takes place. And uh, from here on, I'm only going to be talking about these Trigentidionian bases. There's a lot of other Trigentidionian numbers that you get if you multiply these bases by coefficients and add them together, but we just want these basis vectors. And uh, canonically, I'm always writing them in alphabetical order and with no duplicates. My convention, I've already said, is multiply left to right. All right, some warnings about this number system. They're not commutative, so don't assume that xy equals yx. They're not associative, so don't assume that you can move the parentheses around. Uh, they're not mufang. They're not alternative. They are some other things. Uh, they're anti-commutative. Um, xy is equal to minus yx if x is not equal to y and neither of them are 1. One minute. Are you serious? Okay. He is serious. All right. So uh, the leapfrog identity we just showed you that uh, you get a minus every time. It lets you multiply by single letters. Uh, my problem is I want to multiply by more than single letters. In the game, I can arrange that all the cards are single letters. Um, so letter gap symmetry says if I know a theorem like that ABC times AC equals minus B, I can change the letters as long as the mapping of letters, which you see down here, the lines don't cross. I can replace A with B, B with D, C with E. There's a couple of similar things that are known, uh, but I haven't seen it in quite this form. And finally, I'm going to show you two twist tables. This is a table in which the dark cells tell you that the product is negative, and this is a table that tells you if you ignore the parentheses and just remove the parentheses, uh, do you get the right result or not? In the dark ones, you don't. Notice that this table is a lot simpler than the twist table for regular multiplication. And so in my game, with you get the advanced card set, we multiply by dissociating first, removing the parentheses, and then looking a number up in this table, which is much simpler. And that gives us the right answer. And I'll leave it at that.